Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Color correction time. Lots of black box dye on my sister. And we just did a test strand. So let's see. Moment of truth. It's not good. It's so dark you can't even see it in the video. <laughs> okay, I'm mixing 30 volume red can up to 9. And I'm just praying to the hair gods that her hair lifts. The test strand did not look too promising. Um, but she already knows that today is going to be really subtle, really like nonchalant, like you're not going to notice much. Um, she's not thrilled, but that's what happens when you use black box color. So we're just going to kind of work with what we got. And like my sister would have black box color in her hair. So we're going in right now. I don't know, is it picking it up or does it just look really black? Um, you can see a little bit. Okay, so this is like all her natural right here. Then there's like a weird situation happening down here. And then you can tell it's like all box color. So, I'm going in, like I said, red can, flash with three ball. And I'm just taking a section. I'm doing macros on her just to get more coverage. I'm like, Using it up. And I'm just packing it in with a ton of lightener. I feel like we're gonna go through like a pound of lightener with her. <laughs> So real quick, while I fold this little foil up, a uh, little background, me and her both agreed that she's going to be super warm today. She honestly, her inspo photos are really coppery. She's in denial and she like thinks it's not orange, but it literally is orange hair. So um, that's kind of why I'm going in with this technique, just because I know she's going to be okay with all of the warmth. So here I am just again, like just full head of macro lights, honestly, on her. Uh, Emma's here getting some content for Instagram for me. A little behind the scenes. Um, and then Rachel's here <laughs> just saying hey. And um, yeah, so I'm going in with this technique. Like I said, she is okay with being really warm. Like our end goal is like a very dimensional, like dark coppery brunette. And that's, she's just going to be happy with that. So again, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. If she wanted to go really blonde, or do something extremely drastic, I would probably go in with a color remover first, but because that's not the end goal, I didn't feel like I needed to compromise every strand in her hair. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. And, oh, I'm cracking up here. Um, wow, I must have said something funny. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going through fully saturating like crazy. I went through so many bowls of lightener on her hair and uh, yeah, just foiling my life away, living life. And hoping that her hair is, you know, feeling good after this still, and that it lifts even. I think that's my biggest thing that I was wanting out of this appointment is an even lift, trying to stay away from bands, which is why I am kind of teasing and feathering up where I'm feathering, because I didn't want to run into her natural color and create a band so kind of staying away from all the virgin hair at the very top there yeah okay so we have her whole head covered in foils now i'm just doing a money piece 
Um, I already know that all her money piece, the top half is gonna lift way lighter just because that's where all her virgin hair is. Um, so I'll probably check that in like 15, 20 minutes, wipe the top, and then start resaturating the bottom half. Um, so yeah, that's kind of just what we're doing right now. Okay, also for her money piece, I did two back-to-back -back, like baby light highlights. This is the second one that you're seeing right here. And then after I do the two back-to-backs, I then finish it out with just a TZ light right behind it. And that's what's happening right here. So I'm doing TZ lights, applying my lightener, and yeah. You guys, if you've made it this far into my video, leave a comment on my YouTube of your favorite food with no context. Literally just tell me what your favorite food is. Let's confuse everyone who reads the comments before watching this video. That'll be fun. Let's see where her foils are. Check one of the first ones down here. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay, goodbye. Let's see. <laughs> what else? Let's see over here. Okay. Well, the good thing is they're not drying out. <laughs> we gotta look at the positive. And uh, so I'm gonna just let that do its thing. And then I'll check it again in like 15 minutes. And then if I feel like it's dried out, then I'll be saturated. So here we go. Okay, so they dried out. So I'm going back through and I'm not gonna settle for this level of lift. So I'm gonna resaturate. And I just resaturated with 30 volume, same thing that was originally on there. I'm just kind of reapplying. So hopefully it breaks through a little bit of that redness because that's just like a little too red for us. And then where the box color was. Oh, keep your eyes closed. Amazing. So now I'm gonna wipe all that off. I'm gonna spray some conditioner in so that can stop lifting. And then we're gonna resaturate down here. <laughs> and then we're just gonna keep doing that. Um, okay, so as you saw, I just literally resaturated everything. And um, she knows, like, I had a very honest conversation with her before I started and I told her that this first session is going to be probably the most disappointing look wise because we're going to have to tone everything down and we're just breaking through and creating like a good foundation and I resaturated twice and we're just going to hope that it knocks as much red out as possible. I forgot that she put red on top of the black. Um, yeah, so... This is fun for me. It's a big I told you so moment as a big sister. But, um, you know, sometimes you just got to learn the hard way. And that's okay because been there, done that. So, yeah, we're going to just hope that it lifts. And um, the good thing is that she likes warm tones. So we can kind of work with it. So, yeah. Fingers crossed. This is how you know I'm doing a color correction when I have this bad boy on. Because I literally never wear an apron. So, I'm in full color correction mode. All right, 
right so as you just saw we pulled her she's pretty much stuck at like a very seven seven like if there was ever a level seven this is a level seven um, mixed with some sixes it's just super super warm lots of red so much red um, so I'm going through shadow rooting her and I shadow rooted her just with straight 5n and um, yeah that's what's happening okay I wanted to make sure that I slow down this part so her money piece like you guys saw previously the top half lifted to like a 9, almost 10, and then the bottom half was stuck at a 7. So what I did was I filled the top half with 7C and um, just to get it to match the rest of here. So when I toned it, it was all even. Okay, I forgot to get a toning shot of me toning, but as you guys remember, or as you saw, she had lifted to like a level 7, super coppery red. So I went ahead and made a 7GN. And I uh, toned with that because it has like a green yellow background and that's gonna help a lot with the unwanted warm pigments that she had. And I also did equal parts with 7M, which is a blue green reflect. And again, that is just to help control all of the warmth that she had going on, not to get rid of it, just to completely neutralize it. Literally blurry. Yeah, so what's in there? Session one done. Yeah, like this, but like a little less. But like, so that's ginger. I just want you to know that's copper hair, and that's fine. Is it okay? But like, look at me. No, I want you to look down with your eyes, and then when I say look up, look up, okay? All right, look up at the camera. Soft smile. Okay. Why Sorry. That was <laughs> so awkward. Okay. Face me. Okay, just look down with your eyes. Look at your angles. All right, then look at me. Soft smile. Can you stay looking? Stay looking. All right, perfect. All right, now just stay looking down. Dude, keep your eyeballs down. Can you look down? Sorry. Okay, I can't. It's fine if I look around. Stay like that, okay? I'm gonna do it again. Just look down. Okay, here's her after um, from a video on my iPhone. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I am so happy with her results. I can't wait for session two.